Well, this is Aquatic Critter. It is located in Nashville, Tennessee. I will put their information down in the description below in case you want to visit this place if you're ever in town or live around the area. This was a rather large fish store and their tanks, as you're going to see throughout this video, were in good shape. The fish were in good shape. Prices were reasonable and there was a lot of selection and that's really cool. So one of the things that we do when we look for a pet store to film or a fish store, we're looking for all those things. We want a nice, clean, comfortable atmosphere with great tanks, people who are courteous, and they checked off all of those boxes and you're gonna see some really cool fish throughout this tour. This was a display tank right next to the door and these fish were cool. These were the pink spot chocos. They were in here with other fish. You could see some cardinal tetras, some mollies, and there was, these fish were absolutely awesome. They don't get super huge and they're not all that common so they were pretty close to full grown here maybe a couple inches to two and a half inches or so but i think what was so awesome about this fish is they looked kind of menacing they had some teeth and because of that you'd probably want to be a little bit careful about the types of fish you put in an aquarium with these guys they have been known to eat smaller fish they're also known to be a little bit fin nippy so if you run across these fish just be a little bit careful but they were absolutely beautiful So let's take you around the fish store. These were some blind cave tetras. This is another fish you gotta be a little bit careful with because they can't see. Sometimes they can also be a little bit fin nippy. Here we had the black phantom tetra, one of my favorite tetras. And by the way, if you wanna see species profiles of some of the fish that were highlighted in this video, check out the description below. There'll be a list there for you. So if you see something you like, maybe we've talked about it before in a species profile. But a lot of cool fish at this pet store. They had the common ones, they had uncommon ones. Here's the head and tail light tetra. This is a great fish. Uh, relatively peaceful, doesn't get very large. Curious which one you like better. We've got the serpe tetra here. And then in this next tank here, we've got the long fin variety. I kind of like the standard variety maybe a little bit more. I think if these fish weren't so fin nippy and there, there wasn't so many nip fins on the long fin, there's nothing you can really do about that. That's just the way they behave. I might like the appearance better of the long fin. Candy cane tetra is a great fish. We've done a species profile on this fish. They get a lot of really nice color as they age. Parrot fish, you've got a big red tail shark in there as well. Parrot fish are interesting. Even though they're cichlids, sometimes they act a little bit aggressive, but they really can't do a whole lot of damage to other fish. And so they're actually not all that aggressive. Now, what I want to hear from you too, this is the black skirt tetra, relatively common fish. I like it. And this is the white skirt tetra. Which one would you prefer out of the two? And of course, you've got the neon tetra, which is always a staple in the aquarium hobby. But then you also have the green neon. I know Joanna likes the green neon a little bit more. I actually prefer the standard neon. I think the colors are a little bit nicer. They had all kinds of angel fish here and a, just a really nice selection here. So you've got the marbles. I had a, a long fin marble that I absolutely loved. Here you've got more of the standard. Uh, you've got what appears to be a gold head angel fish as well. They go by a number of different names depending on where you're at. They got some electric blue acara or maybe those were electric blue rams. Love the koi angel fish. These look to be in very good shape, offer a lot of color to your aquarium. Then of course, you've got the black angels. These were relatively large, really nice fins. I really enjoyed these angel fish. The red eye tetra is another one of those more common fish, but again, be a little bit careful here. They can be a little bit fin nippy, like the Buenos Aires tetras. Uh, these get a little bit larger as well. Love the ruby barbs here. These fish can show really nice color. You can see they're already starting to show nice color, but there's a lot of potential in these fish. Really nice looking discus aquarium. These guys were a little bit on the smaller side, but even still, they were showing some really nice color. Here's a fish you don't see as much anymore. We used to see these a lot when I was a kid, the elephant nose fish. It's a little bit of an oddball. I would 
Definitely say you'd want to be more of an experienced fish keeper for something like this. This is another fish you don't see very often either, the Hovens Carp. I uh, really like this fish. They go by a couple different names. You can see the Electric Blue Jack Dempsey's in there as well. Uh, those fish, at least in our area, haven't worked out too well for us, but it really is regional uh, in terms of whether or not you're going to get Electric Blues that are super healthy. Here you've got the Gold and Platinum Garamis mixed in together. These are Garamis best kept in, in a community tank that is semi aggressive I uh, love the glow light tetra this is a very underrated fish that absolutely looks awesome when you keep them in really large groups so if you get a chance to keep those highly recommend it got some rasboras here you can see the quarry cats at the bottom this is another fish if you keep them in large groups you will be rewarded once they settle in that orange color really starts to pop love the quarry cats here if you're gonna keep quarry cats always best once again to keep them in a larger group cichlid that you're looking at here is a relatively peaceful cichlid you can see it in here with some angel fish we had a big group of them in fact we still have a decent sized group in a 125 with some other fish they pretty much mind their own business love the lemon tetra again this is one of those fish when they really settle in and they start showing that yellow especially on the fins it's a great looking fish here you've got the red spot gold severum can give this fish time to really settle in and you will be rewarded with some great color takes a little bit of time and actually they show better color on darker substrate as well the juripari is a type of geophagus this is another fish you got to have some patience but if you do have that patience you will be rewarded with a fish that shows awesome color the geophagus like you're seeing here or the seven eye these are fish that are better kept on darker substrate here you see the ghost knife. This is a fish that unless you've got a massive tank, you probably would probably want to stay away from that one. The Heckleye, Geophagus-like, another fish with great color. Here you've got the giant Daniel. Love these fish. They were showing some pretty nice color in this aquarium. Always a very, very active fish. don't get as much into the super fancy goldfish varieties but these ones I really like them uh, they always look so happy they always look like they've got somewhere to go and they're always in a good mood I mean if fish could be in a good mood I think goldfish would definitely make a case for one of the fish that would be in the best mood of all fish would love to hear from you which fish is always in the best mood cichlids they had a lot of them you got the daffodil brachardi here you got the pseudotrophius aci here that's the blue fish with the yellow tails both of these are awesome. Here's your Brevis shell dwellers and with some small compressiceps. These are from Lake Tanganyika, also a very cool fish. Love these guys. We've bred lots of them. This is Neolampelagus caudopunctatus, otherwise known as the caudopunks. This is the orange fin variety. Absolutely awesome fish there. And then you've got a mix of fish here. You've got some standard brachardi. You've got some Kenii cichlids hanging out. Here you've got some red zebras. You also got some frontosa, as well as some other fish in this aquarium. The frontosa are awesome, take a really long time to grow. And when they do, you're gonna need a really large tank for them. Uh, here we've got some lelupai along with some imbuna. Another great fish. The lelupai with that really nice yellow color is just outstanding. This next tank here, they had Pseudotrophia solosi. This has been such an incredibly hard fish to find lately. A lot of people want it because the males and females get different colors where the males will have more of a blue color, but both of them are outstanding. Here we've got some OB cichlids, very nice aquarium, nice size fish in this aquarium. OBs are great. I tend to keep them more with the Imbuna than the Peacocks because I find them to be a little bit more aggressive. Thought this was awesome. They have a giant poster of the nitrogen cycle, or at least the nitrification process that was so cool. There's gonna be a lot of reflection in some of these tanks, I'm sorry, but you had the big long fish there, you had the big puffer. I uh, wish I could have gotten that without all the reflection, but these were a couple of cool fish. Yep, there's a parrot fish, never shy, looking right at you, wondering what's going on, what is this thing? Electric catfish, how cool is this? I uh, thought that was pretty awesome, not something you see all the time. And 
some really pretty jewel cichlids here. As you can see, it's a somewhat common fish, but always love them. And they also had the turquoise jewels, which are a very cool fish. I tend to favor just the standard jewels. I like that deep red color a little bit more than this, but they're both pretty awesome. This last tank filled with very big fish, very expensive. Uh, this was a quick little tour of aquarium critter. Again, if you're in the Nashville area, I highly recommend. This is a fish store that you should definitely check out. Thank you so much for being here. Like I said, if you want species profiles on some of the fish featured in this video, check out the description below, and we'll see you next time.